Up and Enrollment is coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. The last two episodes were about Open Enrollment. So let's be clear. Open Enrollment has a ton of moving parts. And with the changes the industry has been working through, it is more complex than ever before. I have seen a sharp increase in chatter about getting ahead of open enrollment by brokers and agents as they anticipate they will be busier than ever with the new rules and regs they have to navigate. So, are you ready? Want help? From the home base in Brookfield, Wisconsin, welcome to the latest episode of Inside Connect and Simplify, sponsored by the benefit companies. Roger here, human capital management consultant, and licensed health insurance agent in the state of Wisconsin. Now again, let's be clear, I'm no expert in health insurance. I have teammates that have specialized in health insurance for years, and I always defer any health insurance question to them. However, I do know enough about health insurance and benefits to offer a few thoughts on how to navigate the upcoming open enrollment season. In no particular order, here are some thoughts. Premiums are going to keep going up. Business owners are looking for options. They just want a review to tell them where they stand and if there's anything they can do to improve their current position. Their current broker may be doing a great job, but the business owner just doesn't know for sure. Business owners will gladly take advice from a broker they trust as the owner does not have the time or energy to learn it for themselves. Starting the process now is way better than waiting. And besides the plan design and premiums, what could possibly be done to improve the process for your company or your admin team or your employees? And these business owners just don't know. So what's your plan for this year? If you had to stop and think for a few seconds, then I would suggest the following. I have three teammates. We have three teammates who are brokers with over 20 years of experience each in the health insurance industry. Would you be opposed to an introduction? I can do it right now. Here's more. If you have questions about anything regarding your plan, your process, the service you're getting, our dedicated service teams, the latest federal, state, or local legislation, the latest new options. Would you be opposed to an introduction? We've been doing this for a very long time, and we stand ready to help. Now, I know I haven't really talked about the process or your process yet. I think I have established our credentials. So now, how about moving off of your current cumbersome manual process, the paper forms, the spreadsheets? Let's be clear. The insurance carriers are moving towards electronic open enrollment and away from paper. If you are currently paper in any form, you're going to have to move with them. So let's discuss how that might look for you. By the way, what happens to your current process if that one admin teammate of yours that has managed the process for you for years, what happens if they leave? I know, why would they leave? Well, maybe the process is kind of killing them. Maybe they don't feel compensated for the work they're doing. Maybe because they want to get their life back. A little research shows the average pay increase for excellent performance is currently in the 3 to 4.5% range. Pay increases when switching employers most often range from 20 to 30%. Now, data from the U.S. Census Bureau and research firms like Gallup and Forbes are bearing this out. So can you afford to lose one of your key admin performers at all, much less during your end in open enrollment because of poor processes or insufficient compensation or both? We all know that keeping a key employee by giving them the correct tools to do their job and then a respectful increase in the range of 10 to 15% will likely be a key factor in them staying as opposed to them going. However, if they leave, you likely will be starting over with less experience, a learning curve, and the loss of your other teammates' productivity as they train the new person. 
So it seems simple. Keep your best people with real raises and real tech to get the work done, right? So how can we help? Well, we can fix the process. We can get you online and out of paper. We can give you experienced brokers, service teams, and customized benefit plan for your employees. Think of the impact on your company, the employees, you, the bottom line, when you get all of these things right. The ROI of keeping your quality people by paying them fair market value or better and moving to efficient integrated tech that reduces errors and speeds up time to completion for the entire open enrollment process will far outweigh staying right where you are, right where you were six months ago, right where you were this time last year. I know, sounds easy. Well, at a minimum, remember what I said earlier. Business owners are looking for options. They just want a review to tell them where they stand and if there's anything they can do to improve their current position. And their broker may actually be doing a great job. They just don't know for sure. So one way to know for sure is to have us take a look. Starts with a phone call at 262-278-8522. If it turns out everything you currently have is perfect, well, at least you know. If not, we started the process early enough to get you the solution you deserve before the end of this year. And if you want us to take a look at any other admin process, your retirement plan, human resources, payroll, time labor management, yeah, we have a team of tenured specialists in all of those spaces too. And yeah, our tech partner is UKG, industry leader in human capital management. We could also talk about that too. So, let's fix open enrollment. Thanks for listening. Be well. A business person recently said it's like inmates are running the asylum regarding disgruntled employees. Human capital management systems from the benefit companies will restore sanity to your workforce. Connect and simplify. Insource the benefit companies. Connectandsimplify.com. 